Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this blingy canvas, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I have some really awesome supporters of my channel out there, and I think um, they deserve to know why I have not uploaded a video in a few weeks or even responded to comments. Um, the day after I uploaded my last video, my husband passed away. I need to get through this really fast. Um, so this video and painting is dedicated to Glenn. So I have a small wall in um, one of my bedrooms that I have a little spot for a canvas. And my home is silver and grays and blues. So what I'm going to do today, uh, I'll just show you the colors that I've picked out. This is an ice blue metallic. Um, I'm going to use the blue ice pearl that I've used in other paintings, as well as the white pearl. And I might use a little bit of my zinc just to darken it up a little bit. And some silver. And as I'm going through, you guys, um, I will point out uh, things as well. I'm using some silver recollections, extra fine glitter. Uh, this blue that I got from Dollarama, it's really pretty actually. Um, and it's, this is kind of a medium chunky silver glitter from Dollarama and I will be using my crushed filler glass from Michael's that I pick up. And if you hear my little puppy, he's kind of wandering around. Uh, you can usually hear his little footsteps. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just spray my canvas with just a little bit of water, you guys, just in a spray bottle. Um, it's not coming out the way I, I want it to, but that's okay. Um, and so I don't have to mess with where I absolutely need to put my crushed glass and glitter. I'm just going to do my painting um, the exact same way from tip to toe. Um, as opposed to, you know, drawing a line like I usually do and paint some solid and such. So I think I'm going, I'm trying to decide which one I want to start. I'm going to start with the silver. And this is the white pearl. My objective here is um, to just have some of the faint, the faint blue. I think I'm going to leave that zinc out. That might be a little bit too dark. Now this is the um, blue ice pearl. And, yeah, I haven't used this one yet, I don't think. This is the Ice Blue. And all of these, you guys, are um, metallic. So, I will not be um, adding any uh, sealer to them, like no Mod Podge or anything, because I don't want to lose that really nice metallic sheen. I'm just eyeballing here and I think that's going to be pretty even once we once we get going. Um, if I need to add a little bit, bit more, then I will. 
And then again, I'm just, I'm using one of my two inch flat brushes. And I'm just adding a little bit of water to it. And I'm just gonna load my brush up. Get these sides done really fast. And get those rounded corners that give me a lot of grief. I probably could have, um, since this one is from my home, I probably could have, I probably could have splurged and bought myself a, a better canvas. But you know what? By the time I'm done with this, this is going to be really pretty. So I'm going to go this way again. Just those rounded, the rounded part. If you can get that out of the way, um, then when you're doing your brush stroke, it shouldn't um, mess with what you're doing. This is going to be the top, or it might even be the bottom. Depends on which one turns out better for me. Because remember, the top is going to be covered in the crushed glass and glitter. So I'm going to pick whatever end would be the best. But I'm really liking this, these colors together. It's very bright and cheerful. I'm just going to turn this around and see the top end of it. Oh, I see a little bit of a little bump there. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry, and I will bring you back, and we will put on some of that blingy goodness. Okay, you guys, so my paint is all dry, and I made another uh, design. I uh, made a little bit of a template for myself and I just um, taped a few pieces of printer paper together and started outlining and then I cut, right? Cut it all out and then I traced with a pencil all the way around and then inside the middle here. And this is what I ended up with. And that is going to be the top. So I'm just going to turn it around. And I will start um, putting on some of the TriArt liquid glass. I will leave a link in my description box, you guys. Um, some of you will not be able to get it. It'll all depend on where you are located in the world, of course. So I want to avoid getting any liquid glass in these two little holes here because I don't want anything on there. And I'm just, I'm just going to pour. I have to be careful because I don't want it to, um, go past, too far past the pencil mark, but I want it to go past the pencil mark just a little bit so that when, um, when I have my crushed glass and glitter on here, it will cover up, it will cover up this pencil line. So this is going to take me a while to do. I'm going to just um, 
do it for a little while so you can see what I'm doing and then I'll shut the camera off and uh, bring you back when I put on my my glitter and crush glass and what I'll end up doing you guys is I'm going to do it really quickly um, just get a a thinner layer if you will And then any spots um, that seem to have dried up a little bit too much, I'll just add a little bit more um, of the liquid glass to it. And this is this is why I decided to paint the whole canvas um, in the same stripe all the way up and down because I wanted some of the stripe to show through in my little uh, cutout pieces, right? So this is all I'm going to do. And then when I come back, I'll let you know how long it took me. I'm going to time myself. But you certainly don't need to watch me do this. Okay, so that took me probably, oh, 10 minutes. Um, and I actually, uh, after this corner, I just, I poured it on like I do in, in my other uh, paintings when I put the uh, liquid glass on, and it's fine. I just made sure that my, um, that my pencil marks were covered up. So basically, when you put your liquid glass on, just stay in the middle and then use your brush to push it. Okay, so um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do, this is the clear uh, crushed glass, you guys. I'm going to put it on first, and I'm going to use just a little spoon because I don't want it to, um, I don't think it did it when I did my last uh, painting. I just don't want the weight of the crushed glass to um, push into this here round part. I guess it's not round, but <laughs> it's into that design, right? Okay, I think that's gonna be good on that. Now I'm going to use, I really like this silver, uh, it's a kind of a medium size glitter, I guess, from Dollarama. It's very bright, it's a very bright silver. And um, it really reflects the light really well. Add a little more. Turn on these edges here. And I've changed my mind on the blue. I'm going to use this uh, extra fine recollections. It's ocean. It's called Ocean. It's a really pretty blue.
And I'm going to add a little bit of Recollections Extra Fine Silver. Just because we just want to make sure that um, all of the liquid glass is covered. I think I may have covered up a little bit too much of the blue, so I'm just going to add a little more, a little more of the blue here. Oh, I don't even like that. Okay, so. I'm going to let that dry and I'll bring it back when I brush it off. And I'm debating whether to um, add something. And I won't know until I brush it off. So we'll see what this looks like when it's all dry and brushed off. And then uh, I guess I'll make a decision. Okay, you guys, this is all dry. And I can tell without even brushing it off, I think I'm going to want to add some stuff to it. Um, but I won't know until I clean it up here a little bit. I love the colors. Yeah, definitely need something. Just... I don't think it needs a lot, but it needs something. What that something is, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'll just give you a little look the way it would be hanging. I'm wondering if if I added if I added a little something. No. I'm just going to shut you guys off um, and give it a little thought and then I'll bring you back after I've decided what I need on this. Okay, you guys, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of drawing somewhat of a blank, but what I have come up with is I think I'm going to add silver glitter into these spots right here and um, I'm just going to do it with a brush. So this is um, just some of the gloss Mod Podge. I put it in this little jar here because it's getting old and I just want to stir it up. And I'm going to add some glitter in with it. And I may find that after I brush it on, I want to add a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, for sure. It needs something in here. It's, uh, I don't like overdoing my bling canvases, but this one to me is just... It's just a little too plain for my liking. So. so I'm just gonna brush it on and make sure that um, the Mod Podge is nice, nice and even. This, after it's dry, <clears throat> still isn't enough. Um, I may end up adding a little bit of silver leaf to it, but um, I'm just gonna do one step at a time, let it dry, and see how I end up liking it. 
my um my creative juices you guys since my husband passed they're just not um up to snuff yet but they will i'll get them back and then maybe i'll add a little bit of the this is just the fine glitter you guys a little bit of that Yeah, this will be better, but I don't think it's quite going to be where I want it to be, even after this is dry. But you'll be right along with me on my journey. Give me a brush here. I don't want to continue fighting with that one. wondering maybe on this one down here I'm not going to put as much as the one up top yeah I think that'll be good like that I'm still thinking you know I need something <laughs> something around here what the heck okay you guys um this is the Elmer's Glitter Glue. I had used it for my, um, my stained glass dupe. And you know what? I am going to Okay, just gonna add some of this glitter <clears throat> just to really highlight. That glitter glue. Okay, yeah, this I know I'm going to like. Um, it's giving a little bit more something uh... <laughs> no. No, I'm thinking this up here needs something okay you know what I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna brush it off and I may find that I need something here because now that I've outlined all of this, it just seems like it needs something now here. And I'm not so sure that it's the outlining in the glitter glue that I want there. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? <clears throat> Absolutely. I know that I need to outline this because this looks like it's not finished. So I'm just going to get that started here. Mm 
my challenge uh, with this is because I've got the pieces of glass kind of hanging off the top, which I really like. Um, they're not going to be framed in But I think, you know, I think that's going to be okay. Well, I guess we'll, we'll know soon enough. Okay. I really love this medium uh, glitter from Dollarama, you guys. Like, it's just, it's so bright. And you know, for a dollar, dollar twenty-five Canadian, that's even better. Okay. Maybe I'd like to kind of straighten that out a little. Okay, you guys, uh, this glue is going to take overnight to uh, dry, and then I will bring you back again. Okay, this is all dry, so let's see how this turns out for me. Ah, uh, yeah, I like that much better. It just needed that little extra oomph. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to vacuum this all off and I will hang it on the wall and display it for you. Okay, you guys, here's the finished look. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I really love the colors. And it is very, very sparkly. I'm glad I added um, the, the silver glitter glue. And then just a little bit of glitter inside of these two openings. It just gave it a little bit more pizzazz. Kind of reminds me of a geode painting. <laughs> and it is very sparkly. I don't know if, the, uh, if my lighting is capturing the sparkle. And all of the metallic paints that I used so pretty, love it. Let me know in the comments, you guys, if um, you have any other ideas of what I could have added to this, maybe some silver leaf or something. Um, but yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll really help my channel. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch. And God bless.